Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Undertale of course and welcome back to another real talk video. This time we got some uh, Battlefield 1 close alpha gameplay with the Winchester repeater rifle uh, with the iron sights. I really enjoy this rifle, this is like my go-to PTFO recon, like aggressive recon rifle because man it feels good and it, it chambers another round quite quickly as well so it, it's very enjoyable to play with I gotta say. Today's video is going to be about sp I'm gonna try to be as open and forthcoming as possible without going in too much details because that's never really good when it comes to, to sponsors and that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna try to be as honest and open as possible with you guys. And uh, why I'm talking about this is there was actually an article by some weird random website that got voted up to the top on Reddit the other day with the title pretty much saying PewDiePie and other YouTubers got paid to give positive reviews of the game Shadow of Mordor and the FTC is, is pretty much gonna get their ass. That was kind of what it said and Honestly, I'm gonna say this straight up, like, I, I don't even like PewDiePie videos. He, his, PewDiePie seems like a nice guy, he seems like he wants the YouTube community's best, but it, it's not like I'm a fan of his, or, or look up to him, or have anything to gain from defending him, but I'm fucking gonna defend him anyways, because this article was goddamn full of shit. It was literally a clickbaity piece of shit article. First of all, he was not paid to give positive reviews of this game, he was paid to show the game off. A very typical sponsor ship and he did disclose to his viewers that it was a sponsored video the only thing he did wrong was to not disclose it in the video itself that where he put the disclosure that it was a sponsored video was in the video description and that is not good enough for the FTC they want you to either mention it in the video or have a watermark in the video that says the content is sponsored or that the video is sponsored by the company it's sponsored by so no one even people that don't read the video description will know about it so PewDiePie made an honest mistake he did not lie to his viewers he did not try to deceive them he was honest it's just that he didn't he didn't do it the proper legal way and I have actually made a mistake like that previously myself with Battlefield 4 so when Battlefield 4 was released EA contacted a bunch of youtubers I I guess randomly from a list people who have like a lot of viewers and that kind of stuff probably hundreds of them and offered that uh, we pay you X amount of dollars for X amount of thousands or hundreds of thousands of views if you make a video of our game nothing like say good things only nothing like don't show bugs I think the only thing it said was don't use excessive swearing and uh, don't concentrate on bugs because this was right when the game was released so like don't make a video uh, that is like uh, super negative against the game and, and then like have tried to get paid for that if you know what I mean. They didn't say like you, you couldn't make those kinds of videos later or before it was just that sponsored video couldn't be that. So I thought to myself like oh fuck yeah I'm gonna fucking do that because I make Battlefield 4 videos anyways because that that's, that's for God's sakes what my, my channel is made of. My channel is literally built on the Counter Strike, Battlefield, and Minecraft. And back then, my my channel was built on Minecraft and Battlefield. Counter Strike hadn't even started becoming a thing on my channel really yet. So Battlefield was the big things. I thought like, fuck it, I'm, I'm just gonna make a normal video like I always do, like showing off weapons or or showing off the evolution with like slow, really sweet slow motion. I think I did that, and uh, and just cash in a little bit. Simple as that just make sure I don't swear too much because that was really the only thing I had to change and I did uh, disclose it in the video like description exactly like PewDiePie did but I did not know about that you had to have a watermark this was not something EA told us back then or anything like that like they have now because <laughs> honestly I, I think they they thought that we knew this kind of stuff but we don't us YouTubers, we're guys that sit at home, make videos basically out of our mom's basement, if you know what I mean. Like, we don't know this kind of loss and stuff. We have no clue. So, of course, I made the same mistake as PewDiePie, and I'm owning up to it now. But um, 
Why I haven't even talked about it previously is because I read an article, this is actually how I found out about it, it wasn't EA or the FTC or anything like that that contacted me and said this because they obviously didn't really like like check that kind of stuff too carefully, I'm guessing at least, uh, but uh, I, I read an article that was talking about just that, but kind of about some YouTube vlogger that was doing some cosmetic stuff, and I realized like, Oh shit, I, I, I probably didn't disclose that correctly. Oh crap, I, I don't want to get sued or like end up in prison or something like that because I thought that was what was going to happen. So before I even finished reading the articles, I really knew what was going on. I straight up deleted the, the videos that I worked so hard on, just straight up deleted them. And uh, I never saw any money from EA, of course, since I did delete the videos and, and I, I couldn't cash in on it. So I kind of fucked myself there. That's also why I haven't mentioned it previously because the videos are simply gone. And, and yeah, I, I didn't profit anything about from it then or, or later. But I, I did end up making videos like that later though, but with the, the proper disclosure. But I keep on reading the, the article and I realized that all I had to do was mention it in the video, either with text or with speech, that it was a sponsored video and I was good. So I basically freaked out for no reason, lost a bunch of money, a bunch of views and deleted two of what could have been very popular successful videos for no real reason, but simply because I did not know better. This was something I was not informed about, this was something I didn't know about, because as YouTubers, we don't know this kind of stuff. We don't know these kinds of laws and stuff, that's... That's not something we know, unless you're maybe a total biscuit and, and have like a, a lawyer degree or something like that. I, th I think he has like basic knowledge of law or something like that. But other than that, I, I don't really know any other YouTuber that, that knows that kind of stuff, if you know what I mean. So simple, honest mistake, owning up to it now, I, I don't think any one of you will think differently of me after hearing that, though, to be honest, because it's such a such a small thing. But just to give you an example of, of that, like, yeah, PewDiePie just probably just fucked up a little bit. That's it. Like. He doesn't really deserve any hate. So a lot of you guys might wonder if you haven't seen the vlogs and the other videos when I talk about this, then like why Anders do you have a sponsored by EA in this video? Is this video sponsored by EA? No, it's actually not. It's simply the fact that EA wants to cover their back and make sure the FTC won't try to cause any issues for them or for me for that matter. Since they did pay for the trip and the stay over at LA, let me play the game, record the game, and now I even got the key so I can play the closed alpha that's going on right now like online with real people on real servers that's the kind of gameplay you see right now and in the plain video previously so I'm basically just putting it in there because EA recommended me to do it and I mean shit I, I don't know law very much and EA is a big company that probably has tons of fucking lawyers working for them so I'm gonna do what EA recommends because I don't want to get sued or nothing like that if you know what I mean that's the only reason so this video is definitely not sponsored by EA or anything like that and neither are the other Battlefield 1 closed alpha videos I'm making I haven't got paid to make any of those kinds of videos whatsoever I'm just making them because fuck my, my channel is fucking built on Battlefield Minecraft and CSGO for God's sakes uh, so yeah that, that that's that's the deal with that. So how do actual sponsorships work then when, when you do get paid to make a video or show something off? I will tell you as good as possible. Obviously this might not be true for all YouTubers. I'm, I'm strictly speaking from my own experience, but most of the time you try to go for those really big companies that kind of know what they're doing and which always wants to follow the law because that means they won't ask weird things of you. Uh, a lot of small companies always contact me weekly or sometimes daily sometimes as many as 10 skin betting sites might contact me hey uh, $500 you make video for my skin site yes and I'm like eh, yeah no 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 won't do that <laughs> as, and also why bigger companies are usually better is because they kind of know how youtubers think and work a great example is Bravo Boost that, which I had as a sponsor for many many times many months in a row and they were extremely chill they basically said, hey Anders, if, if you like our product and you show it off and you drink it during stream and stuff, we will help you out. We will help you support your channel. And they had no reservations whatsoever. Like a lot of companies will, will, the first time they contact you, will say they want X amount of tweets, X amount of videos every month, X amount of hashtags and bullshit. And you can't say this and you can't say that about the product. When I personally pick sponsors, I try to go for companies that are like Bravo Boost, or actually the company that owns that is called Skåne Meri, and one of the, the biggest companies actually in Sweden. And they treat me with respect. 
which lets me treat my viewers with respect and in turn gives way better responses. Like imagine if, if I always had to say every 10 minutes the word Bravo Boost during my live streams or some bullshit like that. That would be awful. I would hate myself for having to do that and you guys would hate watching live streams or videos like that. So I personally always try to go for the companies that pay well and still will respect my opinion and my right to make my content the way I want to make it. Because sure, it might sound good getting paid a lot at first by saying things people tell you to say, but you're gonna start hating yourself for doing that quite quickly. I've never, fortunately enough, I've never had to take a sponsorship like that, uh, simply because I've had enough money to, to live comfortably and pay my rent and that kind of stuff. I'm not rich, I, I don't even have a car for God's sakes, I can't afford a car, so it, it's not like I'm taking every sponsor uh, opportunity that comes by either but I do however take every sponsor opportunity that come by that I deem good good for me good for my viewers and good for the company I also try to never trick a company into paying too much compared to what they get because let's be honest like if you want to fucking advertise tampons on my channel sure I could do it but they wouldn't get much out of it and and that would kind of also spread a rumor about me being kind of a shitty guy to do business with as well and my viewers might not very much like seeing tampoing shout outs in my live stream if you know what I mean. I don't know. I, I've been recording this many, many times over. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to make it as specific and that kind of stuff as possible. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.